This is Mike Fahey with Kotaku, and I am playing Us 2's Monument Valley 2. It is the sequel to Monument Valley. Uh, one of the biggest iPhone or iPad games when it came out uh, a couple of years back. The sequel was just announced at the Apple event earlier this week, and now it is live. Now, Monument Valley is all about perception puzzles, changing the way things move, and changing the way we see things. For instance... Hopefully, you are all seeing this. Now, this is a very relaxing game. It's very calming, very soothing, very thoughtful. There's not a lot of pressure. And that's why I'm talking in this very soothing, calming voice. It's appropriate. Also, I don't have a pop filter on my microphone, so you might get some pops. Hopefully I'm actually recording this so I can archive it later. But probably not. Now I've played through a lot of the game. Uh, I reset my progress. And uh, my family's home today. It's my children's birthday, so you might hear screaming or yelling in the other room because they don't care what I do for a living. And that's okay. It's not okay. Crank down the sound on the game just a bit, I'm hearing, so let us crank down the sound on the game. Oh yeah, that went way high. That was supposed to be much lower. There we go. Yeah, that was probably my, my kid stepping on my wife or something. So this is the vestibule. Ro introduces her child to the valley. Speaking of dad life. Now Monument Valley is a simple tap affair, but here comes her child. Look how cute that is. And they hug. Note that this mother doesn't scream. Ow. Now the original Monument Valley was all about a single character. A princess of sorts. Now we have this dynamic between the two characters. Note the twisting bar. And it all starts out with you know, basically, very basic and simple. In the Facebook comments, Scott says uh, it's a very short game for the price. It was the same thing with regular Monument Valley. It was a very short game for the price, but it's a very enjoyable game, and um, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, so we turn again. This just teaches us that we can use ladders. Yeah, it is very beautiful. The the between the music and the design. Everything the way everything collapses and folds onto itself. It's like, um, it's like Swedish Furniture, the video game. That's not a good way to put that. And again, I don't have a pop filter. These first few levels are teaching you the basics in case you didn't know them. Rodrigo says, um, uh, no, I can't, no, no, 
Que esto iba a ser... Um, I tried. Sorry. Sorry, guys. It's hard enough to talk in this voice with just the normal language I know. Without trying to layer on when I don't. For Monument Valley 2, I think the theme sort of is, uh, maybe a coming of age, but also learning to let go, and you'll see that in a moment. We do have these vignettes at the end of chapters starring just Ro. Is it Ro or is it Rio? And this spirit plays into the game as well. You know, I was thinking about... <laughs> the, the whole reason I'm speaking this way is because I watched the, the an ASMR video the other day. And I went, this is the perfect game for this. So I'm going to go ahead and just talk uh, calmly into the microphone while playing this soothing game. Monument Valley. That's very good, Mario. My voice is creepy. You know, a fun thing about doing the stream like this is I'm trying desperately not to breathe every five seconds. So here we see this mechanic of getting shiny things into a hat. That is a profound and beautiful mechanic. That is profound and beautiful. Sorry about your girlfriend. Please name the baby Dr. Moonpie. The Oasis. So you'll note in Monument Valley that most of the movable things have some kind of tell, like these little dots here. Some can be, some can be moved while they're on them, others cannot. I'm hoping the stream's still playing. Oh, it is. And now I'm hearing an echo of myself. Let's not do that. That's too much. An echo of myself. So look at that. We have a meeting halfway. So really right now I'm just a glorified bus. Oh no! Oh, this sequence is cool. Drama, excitement. But not too much drama and excitement. It's not quite the same game. It's really nothing like the same game. It's like a... Wow. There's a new level of interaction to it. And lots more hugging. And personally, I don't think you can go wrong with hugging. No, get over here so your child comes with you. There is togetherness. Oh, I can't get to that one yet. But how? Okay. 
Okay. While I'm doing this, um, my nephew is IMing me on Facebook. He says, Hey, Uncle Michael, I need some advice. I have some money budgeted to a new laptop, around $200. I wanted to know if you have any ideas. Dear Xavier, save some more damn money. $100 for a laptop? What is wrong with you? Love, your Uncle Michael. Why am I not seeing how this goes? There's something I'm missing. Oh, durr. Here we go. Sideways. Hopefully my nephew is not watching this stream and did not hear me just tell everyone about his problems with a laptop. $200 for a He wants to play World of Warcraft. But this is Monument Valley by us two games. We are playing on the iPad, uh, also available on the iPhone. <clears throat> I don't believe it's available for Android yet, and considering it was used as a promotional thing during the Apple event earlier this week, probably not going to happen. Here I'm tracing this thing with my fingers to make that happen. And thus have we finished a chapter of Monument Valley 2. Click the button, go back to the menu. We're probably going to do two more during this stream. Because I unfortunately uh, set this the same time as a Kotaku Ask Us Anything going on on our website. So if anyone's asking me anything there, I'm not doing it. I'm not answering in which the child learns her first lesson. And we all learn a little something about friendship. We don't actually. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry, I had to check something on my computer. Note these statues uh, that bring to mind the older game. And here we have our another separation of the mother and child. Now, initially, the mother and child uh, are linked in a way. When the mother moves, the child moves towards her, which is a neat mechanic. Here we have another aside. We should go over here. There we go. As with the original Monument Valley, this one's a lot about the perception puzzles and the way uh, different pieces come together when you switch them around different dimensions and goodness. In the other room, my wife says, Archer, the name of one of our children. It's as if I said we're streaming and she just didn't care. And that's okay. We have another example of the mother and child thing. Yeah, that's yelling. That's also yelling. That's great. Hold on one moment, please. Okay, so apparently some pizza was wasted, uh, which is unfortunate, but it is their birthday, so 
You'll note the child stays on the other side, not wasting any pizza. But when the path is open to her, she does follow. We're gonna have to edit that part out of the video if we post it. So again, right now the child cannot get to this button down here because the mother can't move forward and they move sort of simultaneously or the child moves towards the mother. So what we need to do... Hell, I don't know. We need to do something. trying to remember what I did last time. And I'm failing. We're all failing. What am I missing? Maybe if she's standing over here. Nothing seems to be working. In case anyone's watching and knows how to solve this puzzle, feel free to chime in on Facebook. I mean, it feels like there should be something here, simple. I don't see any pieces to rotate. Well, that's Monument Valley 2, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm just kidding. We'll figure this out. I mean, we have this gray area right here. There's got to be a way to manipulate that. Let me see if I didn't just... We'll exit and come back to it. No one's watching anymore. We were screaming. Oh, there's a door. Okay, so I did not see the door. So the mom comes over here. door opens. Okay, so in order for that to work, we go over here so the girl will do that. Now we've got a twist. And... The door's open. Ah... Thank goodness I figured that out. That would have been embarrassing. So the same mechanic carries over here. The, as the, the mother moves, the girl will move as well. If you're just joining us, this is Monument Valley 2, out now for the iPad and iOS. Sequel to uh, Us 2's Monument Valley, which was one of the biggest games on, or the uh, most highly rated games on uh, iOS in 2015, I want to say. There we go. I'm going to turn this, get her over here. And this should bring them, I believe, both into the doors. Okay. 
right now my kids are singing Turn Around Bright Eyes and my wife is trying to sing with them or I'm not quite sure what they're doing. Again, it is their birthday. And since the theme of this game is kind of like a child and her parents, uh, we're going to let them live this time. Now here we see how the child will try to get to its parent, her parent, no matter what. And then they're reunited, and they hug. And that glowy hat is used once more. Now, there haven't been any comments on the video, the stream, since, uh... Well, let me refresh. Maybe I screwed something up. Maybe you guys have been talking all this time, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> I didn't see any of you people talking. Okay, so now we moved with our finger. My, my Facebook screen had logged, so you people were talking for the whole time, and I wasn't paying any attention. Not because I didn't want to pay attention, but because I couldn't. Puzzle games on iOS are the best. It's one of my favorite things, the proliferation of puzzle games on iOS. Um and saying the word proliferation a lot. It's paved the way, and mobile games in general, but iOS specifically has paved the way for so many great puzzle games. And now they're showing up on Steam as well, so it's, it's kind of carrying over. Now here we are in the archipelago, or archipelago, in which the child must find her own path. So it's like, as you play through, the parent is giving the, the child more freedom. This is kind of neat. This mechanic here. Almost. Look in here. And she waves goodbye. Wait, why is she waving goodbye and nothing happening? Thank you, child, in the other room. Again, almost as if I weren't streaming at all. Maybe we need to open it up for her as well. My child is a jerk. But I don't think I, I don't think the mother's actually moving at all right now. She's not. Seamus, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, that is not something I actually will do. I will not actually kill my child. So wait, do we have to guide the mother there too? Oh, there we go. That was the problem. I'm not ready to leave just yet. Like my children, who are still in the living room right now. The colors used here are excellent as well. All these muted colors, the pastels. So this puzzle involves doors. Going through this blue door here takes you to the blue door up here, so you can hit this switch. Going out the blue door, turning around, going through the yellow door. That's the yellow switch. I don't think the big door does anything. Yeah, we're fine.
I'm still, can you only move that when you're standing on it? Oh. I'm just not seeing what it's, uh, what's rotating. I had the same problem last time. There we go. Now, through the door. So here's the mother. She's still looking over her child. The only problem with Monument Valley from a, a, a gameplay standpoint is that it's pretty easy to just trial and error your way through it. But I guess that's what all puzzle games are anyway, right? Get up there. Mm -mm. As I say, it's pretty easy to trial and error your way through something. That's when the game throws me a curve and I take five minutes to finish a puzzle. See what I did there was all oh hey, there's hay. That's this one does not affect that. Okay, so we don't want to be on the big hay haystack yet. I don't have an option though. We gotta be on the big haystack. Oh wait. Connect the two, then I walk on the short one, then we do that. Yeah, I know. That was dumb. through there. Let's come back through here. Hit the other button. And go through the door. Yeah, as people are discussing in the comments, this was uh, exclusively exclusively revealed at the Apple um, event earlier this week. So the chances of it coming to Android anytime soon are kind of slim. The first one eventually got there. I love these little vignettes in between chapters, though. They have some of the coolest little puzzles. And they're not that difficult. has done well, but some lessons must be learned alone. Solitude brings its own perspective, and you both have more to see. So we've played for about a half hour now. I'm going to finish this chapter up, and then we're going to call this a, call this a day.
but this is Monument, Monument Valley 2 available on iOS right now uh, from us too. The sequel to the really cool puzzle game. And here we separate the mother and child again, I believe. Well, they're still together. <clears throat> but you'll note that now the child is in the forefront. And the mother, who's been collecting these beams of light throughout the game... Now gives them to the child to collect. So it's passing of the torch, so to speak, as I trace this pattern with my fingers. And that is Monument Valley 2. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned next week for another Kotaku ASMR podcast. No, it's not, not actually happening. We're never doing that. Thanks for watching.